The sand and water. And water. Very good. Blue skies. Mm-hmm. Mountains in the background. Forest behind me. Mm-hmm. Deep green logs on the ground. Mm-hmm. The waves softly rolling in. Very good. This can be your own special place, couldn't it? Yeah. And any time you're feeling nervous, upset, worn out. All you have to do is get by yourself and see this beautiful place in your mind again. And you'll relax, calm down, go back to work. You can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. It's such a beautiful place, isn't it? Yes, but I'm not alone. Mm-hmm. Tell me who's there. Angels. Angels. But there's also black shadows in there too. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Tell me what's going on there. They're, the angels are behind me. They're standing rows and rows, but there's shadows amongst the angels. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more. Take a look at yourself in this place. Imagine a spiritual mirror in front of you. And tell me what you look like. I am me. Mm -hmm. Lighter though. Mm -hmm. Wanting to go in the forest. To get away from the shadows. So tell me what you do next. It's... The, I'm being told to... Put my energy into the ground mm -hmm. to let it sink. All right, let's do that. And I lay down on the sand. And a panther comes out. A panther comes out. And it lies beside me. Mm -hmm. What color is this panther? Black with green eyes. Mm -hmm. And I can feel it. its fur. And it will watch over me. So I let my vibration sink into the earth, knowing I'm being guarded. And I sink, and I anchor, and I've done this before. Feels like I've done this before. Mm -hmm. I anchor down and down, and I feel the panther next to me, just chucking, and then Eyeball light between my eyes. I pull all my energy into a ball. A tight, white, warm light. It's gathering, gathering. I can feel between my eyes get warm. It's like I'm getting ready to spring. and all my energies in a white ball. What happens next? I open between my eyes and I go out and out and out and out in the stars. And I go in the stars. And I let the stars go. And they go faster. And it's dark, but not black. It's dark like an aquarium with stars all around. Mm -hmm. And I hear the tones. You hear the what? Tones. The tones, okay. Let's find out what those tones are all about. Uh, radar. Radar. Toning. Mm-hmm. Let's find the source of this place. Where is this coming from? I feel... Uh, I've heard it, but scared to follow it. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that focus, tone now. Focus, 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 Allow yourself to just follow those tones that are being sent to you. Focus, follow. Let the stars go. Let the stars go. Just allow yourself to drift and float following those tones. 
Allow them to reel you in. There's colors, colors. planets swirling. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Grays and yellows and reds. Mm -hmm. And between my eyes is throbbing. It's not as scary as I thought. Mm -hmm. Let's continue on this highway of tones. Allow yeah. yourself to just be pulled towards those tones. I go through the gray and the mist mm -hmm. and the blue and the green. I keep going through the mist. And there's sparkles. There's sparkles. Mm-hmm. Where are they coming from? All around the mist. The mist has these fireflies, lights? Sparkles. Sparkles, okay. Little tiny entities. Mm hmm Like joy is coming from them. <laughs> the entities have joy? Yes, mm -hmm. like little, little fairies. Little fairies. Do they have any shape? Take a look at them. They're sparkles. Mm-hmm. Do they have personalities? But different colors, too. Mm hmm What do they tell you as you get closer? Joy. Mm hmm Happiness. Some of them are using, like, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's, they're so happy. Mm-hmm. They're happy to see you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they're just high laughter, giggles, mm -hmm. light, sparkling. And I go into this, there's like, all of a sudden there's a cave on a beach in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I go in the cave. It's an entrance, but it feels familiar. And there's water flowing through the cave, and the cave is lit by dim light, like the stones are shining. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think I just get in the water, and I just am carried through tunnels. Tell me what it looks like in there. It's the walls are light. Gray light, like the light of dawn. Mm -hmm. And you go slide down the water, down, and you don't have to breathe. You just go down mm -hmm. and down, feeling comfortable and safe. Down the water, feeling the light and the water. Comfortable, safe. And I come out on a lagoon, but it's like twilight. And there is water calm, but I can hear the water rushing from behind me. And I see fish, large and small, in the water. And I like nod to them, and there's there's like yellow and black ones and large, slow moving. Mm -hmm. And there's like water that flows under and flows around. Do you have a body there? Kind of. It's light. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a white outline of a body. Mm -hmm. Does this body have a gender? I feel male and female. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you're doing in this lagoon. I follow the water out. <clears throat> it feels so familiar. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. Go out to the water. 
back to the beach. It's not the beach I started from. It's a different beach. And I turn to the right. <clears throat> and there's hills, and there's, on top of a hill, there's a really white, tall building with columns, and it swirls up at the top. And there's children just running down the beach, but they're, they're light children. Explain that for me. They're made of light, mm -hmm. and they're laughing. And they see me, but they don't pay attention to me. And I feel a need to go to this building. So I go, and it's like I don't even have to think, and I'm there. Mm -hmm. And I'm in front of the building with the columns, and it's got steps, marble, shades of white, and marble going up, and columns, and there's a courtyard with columns, and a fountain that's making gentle noise. And there's more light children around the fountain. Mm -hmm. And it feels like there's like teachers in like white, white, white around. Teachers just wearing white. Mm -hmm. And it feels like there's high white entities and spirits and they're all there. It's like a teaching, learning place. Let's find out what you're supposed to be doing there. Oh, to go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. And there's a tall figure up at the top. And my ear is toning slightly. Mm -hmm. And I go up the stairs. And there's about ten. And then it has a flat space. And then more. 20. And he's there waiting for me. Who's there? Kasori. Mm -hmm. With robes. And he's got a, a globe crystal in his hand and he just said, that's just so you know who I am. It's just you remember me. This is your guide. Yes. Kasori. And he's laughing because he's like, I didn't really need the globe, but I thought I'd keep it so you remember me. <laughs> and he's like, he's like really happy. He's like a quiet joy. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's got he's got like layers of robes on, but they're not layers; they're like veils. Mm -hmm. But he's got form to his face and his hands. But he's light, but he's got form to him. Mm -hmm. So he's light, but he has really has a form. And he's got like the robe just drapes. And he's got a beard and just long hair. It's white, and his beard is white. So what is Kasari going to teach you today? He says, I need to go to the crystal. There's a, a light chamber that you go to before you go to the learning. Mm -hmm. And you go everyone does because we have smog and negativity mm -hmm. and it's like an antechamber that we go through and you stop and there's like stained glass and the light comes through the stained glass the different colors the red the mm -hmm. yellows and the oranges and you just, is like cleansing. What cleanses you, the stained glass? The or? light, the light that comes through the glass. Mm -hmm. And he's frowning. Why is that? He's like, you're not cleansing. Let's find out why. And he's like, you have black and brown in you when the light isn't reaching it and I'm beginning to feel panic and he's like he puts his hand on my shoulder he's like it's okay that's why you're here and I said I'm scared just like it's okay it's okay you gotta 
remember that you're never alone. Even if you feel alone, you're scared. Always feel my hand on your shoulder. Always feel the light within you. It's okay to be scared. But no, you're not alone. We've never left you. That's why you're here, to be healed. And I'm scared. And he's like, okay, it's okay. It's okay. What happens next? He's looking at you. You're there for some reason. <laughs> and he's like, she is damaged. There's dark pools around her that are living and existing mm -hmm. and they're not all from this life and they're not all from this place some are from when she was not a kind person and she was not kind in that life and even though she may be kind now not all lives are kind you learn through good and bad lives to strengthen weaknesses through positions of power and positions of non-power. So what is the reason I'm in that chamber today? We need to send her back. Back to her entity life. She needs to go back. To understand. What happens next? I'm tingling and dissolving. And it's funny because you're both there and I'm like, what next? And he points. <laughs> it's really funny. He's got a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And he's like, go back. You know where to go. You're not alone. Just go. now I'm in a palace mm -hmm. and I'm arrogant mm -hmm. and I have fine ropes and my nose is in the air and the guards see me and they back away and I don't even look at them and I am going on my quest and I don't acknowledge humans mm -hmm. they are contemptuous they are not fit to be in my space and i literally cannot stand being around humans mm -hmm. what are you i am a seer mm -hmm. i am a quest priestess mm -hmm. i go to and from the temple questing giving visions that is my role to quest mm -hmm. to see and to give information to the prince and i do not like doing this i do not like being sent out for information where do you go for this information? Different dimension, different realms, different mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. There is literally, uh, this is a base. I go out in the desert with my panther, Shadra, and she guards me. Mm -hmm. And her mate goes hunting so that 
when she comes back and I am done with my trance, she is fed. But I have heard rumors there will be a time they will not let her out and I will not be protected on a quest and I will be killed without protection and this does not bother me. I know they don't like my power and what they do. And I walk out in the desert because it is cooling. A shot draws in the distance. What's in the distance? Shot draws. My panther, yeah. mm -hmm. my guardian. Yes. And she has felt, it feels like she has been with me lifetimes and lifetimes. And the sun is setting and it sets cold on her black fur. And she walks and then runs toward me as I walk out to the sand. It is cooling. My sandals are thin because I want to feel the sand, but I am warned that there are bugs that will strike at me, so I cover myself. And I kneel down when Shatra comes, and we embrace neck to neck, and I feel our breath, and my ears don't. And I can feel her vibration and smell her fur. And I am grateful. My panther, my guardian, is the only one I acknowledge existence of. What about the prince? Do you I do him? not acknowledge his royalty. Mm -hmm. I understand humans are born into different statuses. They are all equal. There is no high, no low. They just are. They are different forms, different grayness and whiteness and different colors, but I don't see them as much as I see their colors. Mm -hmm. And the prince is just a human. Where are you from? Not from here. Were you born on the earth? This time. Mm -hmm. I always come back. I am sent. Who again sends? and again. Who sends you? The White Council mm -hmm. of Light. I go before them and they say, and now you've experienced this. Now you shall try this. That's how I learn power and strength and humility and service. And each life adds a different layer. Each layer adds a different color. What is your mission in this life? To ground, learn, expand, to learn more about traditions. I want to say, enjoy the temple, mm -hmm. but my vibration is still different there. Mm -hmm. And I still do not feel part, even though I am with them. I am still different. I have always been different when I come here. I always have different. I am always different. And I always feel not of this human. All I know is I am sent here over and over again mm -hmm. to learn. I am aware that I'm not teaching. I should be doing more. I am aware that I have closed myself off. Mm -hmm. Why is that? 
I should be teaching and sharing and growing and I'm not. I cocoon myself. I don't like the pettiness, the using, the manipulation everywhere, even the temple. How can we get this? How can we do this? How can we elevate this? It's all drama and greed and mm -hmm. even in the temple, even in the palace. <clears throat> and I know they don't like me. And I know when I walk in a room, it's like, oh. so I cocoon myself. Mm -hmm. What do they call you in that life? What's your name? Death? Why would they call me Death? That's what I hear. Mm -hmm. But that is not my name. What do you call yourself? I am just the priestess. Mm -hmm. I don't hear any name. I was there at the temple since I know my earliest memories. Mm -hmm. And I'm just the priestess. And I don't like that I squint at them all the time. I have dark eyes and dark hair and I'm always squinting at them. And I know I'm not doing what I came here for. Are you squinting because perhaps their presence hurts your, your frequency, your vibration? They give me a headache. They actually hurt my head. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> They're a lower vibration than you. Yes, but I, that's not what bothers me. It bothers me that, oh gosh, that they don't accept me, that mm -hmm. they don't like me, that mm -hmm. they dread when I walk in the room. That's why they call you death. I didn't come here for this. I didn't come here for this. I failed. I have shut myself off. I have closed and cocooned myself. I could have taught, I could have learned, but I know again and again I have tried to come and teach and they have killed me over and over again and I will die again. Now your whole mission was to expand. I have failed. And you've cocooned yourself. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime and see what happens. I'm laying in the sand. <laughs> My guardian is not there. Your guardian is not there? I know they have kept her there, so I will die in the desert, because if you lay in the desert alone, you will die. And I have accepted this. And I have accepted that I have made choices that have come to this. It is my choice to have cocooned myself off. It is my choice to be of negative influence. It is my choice to not have taught and have learned from them. Mm -hmm. I have not opened to myself. I have closed myself. I do not mind dying alone in the desert. I will just not anchor myself. I will just leave and ask permission to leave for my body will die during this night. And we have awareness of death. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that, go through that transition now. Allow yourself to leave that body behind and tell me what happens. I am sorry. I could have done better. I could have done more. There is such darkness around me. They want me to be dead. I am sorry. Can you forgive yourself for this? Allow yourself to forgive. I'm sorry. Can you sorry. forgive yourself? I want you to go inside of yourself. 
Go deep inside of yourself. I'm going to help you with this at this time. As you transition, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and give me all of that sorrow. I'm so sorry. Give me all of that sorrow. Bring it all out. I'm so sorry. Bring it out. I'm so sorry. Give me all of your sorrow. We're going to send it to the universe for healing. Send it all out. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Bring it out. Take it out of every cell of your being. Feel it coming out. As it eases your as your mind, knowing that we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Allow that to leave you as it's sent to the universe. Take it out of all of your senses. Tell me when I have it out. Very good. And as I send it now to the universe, <coughs> and the space is now vacant to add anything. What would you like to add now? Healing. Let's add a lot of healing. So I'm sending you divine love and light from the universe. Feel it filling up every pore, every space. Feel it going in. And I'm going to touch your forehead now and seal it in. How does that feel now? Okay. Very good. Can you now that you're full of love, can you now see that you need to forgive yourself yes. for having... I was just trying to protect myself. Just trying to protect yourself, that's right. So now that you're leaving that, I'd like to know where you go to next. I'm in a room with a long oval crescent shaped table. Mm -hmm. And there are some white rope people standing and some sitting and there's like a purple heart shaped stone in the middle of the table mm -hmm. a guy nods in the middle and I walk up and I put both hands on the stone and I kneel down and I look up at his eyes and he puts his hands on mine and he says not all lessons are easy there's not good and there's not bad. There just is. There just is. There just is. What does the stone do for you? It's a purple, luminous stone. I just, to balance, mm -hmm. to remember that I am a teacher, healer. That is why I keep coming back mm -hmm. to heal, to teach, to remember, to remember. We all come back to remember, mm -hmm. to learn. And they all sit down. And I sit on the floor. And uh, I just said, what can I do? How can I learn? How can I teach and heal without closing? And they said, are you ready? And my head hurts. And I'm like, no. And they said, it is not time to rest yet. And they throw light at me, purple light. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like a smackdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. What is that light for? It throws me down. Mm -hmm. And I'm in saffron robes in a garden. And I'm planting herbs. And there's a wall around the garden. And I have my feet and my hands in the dirt, and I am planting and harvesting, and my head is shaved, and <gasps> quiet. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Where is this place? Tibet. Mm-hmm. The air is dry, cold, mm-hmm. and there's cold everywhere. Trim. And there are other monks going, hurrying without hurrying. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know I'm supposed to be in for temple meditation, but I have done this before. I have um, villagers I take herbs to, Mm -hmm. and I want to get them ready uh, before I go in, because once I chant, I lighten and I forget sometimes earthly things. So I want to have everything ready. And uh, I put them in some kind of thin, thin, thin paper and put them in my pocket. And I'm barefoot because I prefer that. And I hurry without hurrying into Mm -hmm. the temple. And uh, there is mats, and it is gold, but it's not gaudy gold. I'm aware of a just a quiet gold. It doesn't feel gaudy. It feels quiet. And there's lights at the front, and I just sit because it doesn't matter where you sit. And I put my hands out, bring my finger to my thumb. What does the chant sound like? Uh, it starts with a small oh, mm-hmm. and it builds. Chant for me. I have to go into that space. You have to go into a different alternate vibrational space.
I hurry without hurrying out the temple, down through the gardens, the trees, the walls, out the gate. They pause me, wait, wait. The emperor's guards are out, be careful. I have to go, I have to go. Be careful, the guards are out. Be careful, I have to go. I put my hands to my forehead and I say thank you. And I hurry without hurrying down to the village. And there's worry, there's concern. My head begins to hurt. The Emperor's guards are here, the Emperor's guards are here. <gasps> There is a lot of fear. I come to heal down the path, the dirt path. The stones are on my feet. The father and mother are outside the little shack. It's a little shack, but it is neat. And there's a garden and there's straw coming out of the door. They are worried that I was not come. I quietly touch them. I am here. They are afraid. I also pass, allow souls to leave, and they are scared that I will not be able to heal, that I will have to cross over the daughter. And I said, I will stay. I will be with you. I will stay. And I kneel and put my herbs out and get a shell and put herbs and mix them. And I hear thunder, steps of thunder and the horses and there is fear. And I focus on the herbs and smoke. And the guards come in. And I bend my head down between my hands and they say, you must come. And I say, you will have to drag my limp body there and I will be dead by the time you take me. You can wait and I will come or you can drag me there and I will be dead. The choice is yours. And I do not look at them. They leave. And I smoke the room and tend the herbs and place my hand upon the hot face of the little girl. And I say, all is well. You are safe. And you are loved. All is well. And I can hear them cry because I cannot save her. And I place my hand upon my chest and breathe with her. And release. And I breathe with her until her white essence leaves toward the light with love and peace. You are loved and all is well. And I go and I put my arms around the mother and father and I put my head against theirs. And I said she no longer is in her body but her love will always surround you. Her body is here, but her spirit lives inside the love within each breath. She is asking you to plant a bonsar cookie plant. I don't know what that is. It's a name that she has. And tend it and know 
that she is with you. And I leave, and the cards are there. The emperor is sick, and they wish my herbs. I cannot, I am not in good conscience able to ride the horse. And so I walk. It's a long distance, but I walk. And the villagers put their heads down when they see me, and I know they feel fear and sadness, and part of them, they don't want me to go because I won't be there for them. I understand. inside my breath. I breathe. And I just let my body walk. And I leave. Until we get to the palace. And then I come back in my breath. And the emperor is old and wrinkled. And he goes, Disavow your God and take care of me. And I'm like, I am a healer. I disavow nothing. I accept everything. And they throw me in the dungeon. <laughs> and they have gruel that has milky in it, and I get sick <sighs> a lot, a lot, and I try and leave my body as often as I can, because I cannot eat mm -hmm. what they have given me. What is it that they've given you to eat? It's in a wooden bowl mm -hmm. and it's white and it's grainy and it's soggy mm -hmm. and it's slushy and it's got uh, makes me suck uh, makes me suck and I have to go to the bathroom oh, I need to I need to use the bathroom all right I'm gonna touch your shoulder in a moment you open your eyes and when you come back you'll go back in the same place that you are right now eyes open <laughs> You're doing great. The monk has to go to the bathroom and I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I don't feel good. It makes me so sick. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. I can hear them talk to Amber. Do you want me to pass him over? Oh, I hurt. My stomach hurts. Try not to be in my body. Oh, everything is horrible smelling. I've been so sick. My stomach hurts so much. They don't even give me water. Oh. Okay, this is okay. We can do this. Breathe. Oh. Is it my time? Or oh, a that I would die waiting to heal the emperor. Go now to the last breath of your life there. Oh, I cannot be here anymore. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. There is light. A 
up, up, off, and to my right. And I see shadows of light. What are these shadows of light? Yeah, they're just like, it's okay. You can go. It's like I needed approval that my mission was done. Mm -hmm. So now that you're transitioning out of that body, I want you to look back at that body and tell me what the mission was. What was the purpose of that body? To learn to be amongst humans mm -hmm. without cloaking, mm -hmm. without hiding, to teach, to learn, to give, to receive, to learn gratitude. To learn humbleness, quiet joy, and only at the end to experience power, the emptiness of power. Do you feel like you accomplished what you came here to accomplish? Yes. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn? It's okay to feel. It's okay to help. Humans are good also. Very good. Allow yourself to transition and tell me where you go after this. Back in the room mm -hmm. with the table. Let's find out what they tell you now. They're all like laughing. Mm -hmm. They're like, that was a good one. They are like my teachers and my mentors, but my friends. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you get there? I stand and I'm like, I understand, but I don't understand. I trust them, but I don't trust them. I'm aware of my difference. I I'm not sure how to grow more, to become human, for this is what they want me to incorporate as a lesson. <sighs> and they're laughing mm -hmm. again. Very good. And they throw a light at me, purple again. And I'm like, oh, come on, you guys. And I'm back in the woods. And I got barefoot feet. And the leaves are soft. And the forest has light coming through it. And I'm a brown, soft skirt. And I have long black hair tied back in a braid. And I hear drums. And uh, there's a male Indian, just one feather. Mm -hmm. He has brown pants and barefoot. And he's waiting for me. And I recognize him, but I don't know who he is. And I reach out, and he grabs my hand, and I say, wait, I want to learn the drums too. And he laughs, and he said, we will trade. I will teach you the drums, and you can teach me to dance. And we laugh. And we go to the village where there's a clearing, and 10, 15 teepees. And he goes to the drums. I'm so jealous. The drum is tall and it has skin and strings around for decorations. And he plays them so well. And I want to play the drums, but I am female. How old are you there? 14. Mm -hmm. How old is he? 16. Who is this boy? 
Sky. Sky. I'm wind. <laughs> You're the wind. Very good. Oh, I am laughing. I just look at he looks at me and I'm like, you play the drums well. And he's like, and you dance like the wind. And we laugh. What relation is he to you? He is my friend. They do not want us to be friends for he is bound to someone else. Mm. But we like being with each other. And I know he will teach me the drums. And I feel foreboding that I should not be asking him because it may not turn out well, mm -hmm. for we are not following tribal traditions. Where do you feel this in your body? Oh, in my stomach. Mm -hmm. It hurts. I want to be with him. I like his company. We fish and climb trees and talk. And when no one's looking, we hold hands. And we run through the woods. And he says, sky and wind are together again. Close that scene and let's advance that life to another important time when something is happening. We are dancing in the moonlight. We are taking turns with the drum and dancing. He does not dance as well as I do, but I don't play the drum as well as he does. But we dance mm -hmm. and drum. And we gather hands and we dance together. And there's Rosaline. And the elder is there. Way up and see. I've done wrong. He says, Sky, come back. And he looks at me and he goes, You are banished. Oh my God, my stomach hurts. And Sky goes to reach his drums. And I run to him because I know I will not be able to see him again or hold him again. I try and remember how he smells. <sighs> and we look at each other and he kisses my forehead. And he goes, Sky and Wind will be together. And he takes the drum and he leaves and the elder points. And I leave. I am not welcome back. Sky is bound to another. My stomach hurts so much. I am not scared for being alone. I know the forest. I know the trees. I know the lakes. I know the berries. I am hurting. How old are you, Wind? Sixteen. What happens next? I walk out of the woods. I know there are white skins down in the valley. And they get sick very easy. They know nothing of herbs or of earth. And they get sick very easy. So I wait until the dawn comes. And I bring herbs from the forest. And I stand at the edge of the farm with my hands out holding herbs. And the woman sees me. She has a long dress on and a bonnet covering her head and a long apron. And she is not clean from working. She has been working hard. She's toiled and she's covered with the tired dirt. And I open my hands again with the herbs and she comes at me 
and she slowly takes the herb and smells it. And I raise my herbs again. And I look toward the house. And she looks at me and she walks toward the house. And I follow her. And there is a little boy on the bed. And I grind the herbs up and make a sage smoke. And the husband comes in. I can hear the wife making shifty sounds. And I wave the smoke. And then she has hot water and this weird looking pot thing. And I put herbs in a rude cup and she I point at the water and point at the cup and she puts some in and I smell it and I show it to her and she looks at me so I take a taste and then she is willing to taste it and it's got a variety in healing and I point at the sick child. And so they try to feed it, but they don't know that you're supposed to not do that. So I take my finger and I slowly put it on the lips until they're conscious enough to drink. And I stay with them. And I grow herbs in their garden. And that is where I stay. I'd like for you now to close that scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Advance ahead. And tell me where you are. I'm on a rocking chair. On a porch. I'm old and tired. I have healed many. Given energy. I am still with the family, the son has his own children, and I am rocking, looking at the sunset. Oh, it is time. Go ahead and transition out of that body. <clears throat> Take your last breath. Tell me what happens now as you transition away from that body. I missed out. And Sky is waiting for me. And he puts his hand out. And we run. And I am young once again. And I am turning purple. Mm -hmm. And the mist is changing to purple. And I am in front of the columns by the stairs. And there is much commotion, much excitement. And even the children are excited. And I look, there is a high vibrational being going to earth. It happens. We all clamor to go when a vibrational being of high light goes. Sky's like, let's go, let's go. There's only a couple openings, Why openings, but openings. <laughs> and so we missed purple mist, and we fall. And I'm outside a building where there's a pregnant lady and she is holding her stomach. No movement, no movement. Oh, no movement. And I mist into her womb. 
and I can hear her feel there's movement. There are moments. And I am born a girl in a town of wooden mud buildings and mud straw streets. And my father is upset that I'm not a boy. But I know they will have another one. And so I grow and learn about herbs, for I am drawn to them. And when the boy is born, I live with the village healer. Girls are not. Valuable. <clears throat> so, what country are you in? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. She has a shack, but she has herbs everywhere. It smells so good. She has snakes outside and spiders inside and caterpillars and bees. It's full of life. Why all these insects? She uses them for vibration, mm -hmm. for they add to the vibrational frequency of her healing. Mm. She uses herbs, dried herbs, and she has me go to a landowner that has citrus lemon trees mm -hmm. and he will not let her take it so I go in the early dawn hours for her. How old are you there? I am 12 mm -hmm. and I am mischievous. Mm -hmm. So do you steal these? Yes I do mm -hmm. and I'm very good at it. <laughs> How many do you steal? Just one. Just one leaf? Yes, because it has to be fresh. I see. And if you take more than one, it's wasteful, and you only need to take what you need. Yeah. And so I am stealing a lemon and a lime this morning, and the landowner has been watching for me, and he catches me, and he's like, you are with that teacher, aren't you? And I'm like, no, I'm with the healer. And I know, he's like, I know you're with the teacher, you're gathering for his feet. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like pointing, the, the teacher's there, the teacher's there, you're trying to heal him. And I'm like, I don't know what you're speaking of. So he shakes me and he shakes me and I run away and I go back and I tell her, there's a teacher and they're afraid that I'm taking healing for him. And so she makes a backup of herbs for me to take because she is a healer. And she goes, go find the teacher. Give him the back because that is what she does. And so I go pointing the direction that the landowner has pointed in. And on a hill there's a small crowd and there is a van talking and he is resting against a stone. And some people walk by and some people listen. And I walk up to look at his feet because that is what I heard, his feet. And they are worn from the road. And yes, they could use healing so I slowly walk up to where his feet are and kneel down. And I uh, look up at the teacher. And I just, it's like, it's like, oh my Lord, he let his feet go. So I would be here. It's like everything comes together this one moment. He didn't have to let his feet go. 
I could not have run in the owner. I couldn't have done herbs. Everything is for this moment. And I look at him and I know everything is for now. And it's like, it's like everything makes sense. And he looks at me and he's like, listen, and when I am done, you can heal. And so I sit and I listen. And he talks. What is he talking about? Seeds. Seeds. The ground. Mm -hmm. Not wasting the seeds. And it makes sense. He's talking to me. Mm -hmm. And I realize he's also talking to everyone. And he's so kind. What is the name of this teacher? They call him Jesus. Some call him something else. And he speaks in stories. Mm -hmm. And then children come up and touch his knee and he touches their head. And such a kind smile. What's his personality like? Funny. Mm -hmm. He enjoys telling stories. He enjoys teaching. In what manner does he use? Does he use humor? Does he use... He tries to explain kindness mm -hmm. in stories and value mm -hmm. of self and others in stories. And when he's done, he walks down the hill and I follow him because he said to heal when he was done talking. Mm -hmm. And we go to a stable, like, open area where there are women cooking and men talking and he sits on some hay and he smiles and he says, let's see what you have brought me. And I open my cloth and I ask for water and I soak the cloth and I soak the herbs. I wrap his feet and I gently touch the areas of his feet that have been worn and I gently, slowly say, I could help you walk often. And I look at him because I am offering to go. And this lady dressed older says, she is just an apprentice. She is not a healer. She is just an apprentice. And I said, I am willing to heal. And he puts his hand on my head. And he smiles. And I finish working on his feet. And I know that I need some kind of salve. So I look in my pouch for a plant that opens and I use a stick on the floor and open it 
and get this all out and put it on the rough parts that have been opened on his feet. And then I wrap his feet back up and say just a little bit for the herbs to soak in. And I said, I can gather herbs as you travel and it will be different herbs and liniments as we travel. And he says, he puts his hand on my head, there will be time you will have to leave for it will break your heart to stay with me. And I am puzzled and I am sad, but that is his condition. That is his, not his condition, that is his wish. And, and I hurt inside because I feel that I will be sent away because it will be painful for him. And I hurt. But I stay. And as the evening comes and they build a fire, he talks about God and breath and the quiet spaces between the breath and finding peace here and now within each breath there is God and light within each breath and then oddly he says even when I am gone, I will be within your breath. And my head hurts because I feel darkness coming. And I want to stay, but I know I will be sent away. And so I bow to gather herbs and to do what I can as long as I can before I am sent away. And my heart hurts. But I will stay. How long do you stay with this man? <clears throat> we travel for months and months and don't know it's months and months and I grow better at herbs and every night he says what have you brought for me today but one night I'm finding some lemons and I brought back one because you only bring back one and he's Saka, Zachariah, Zach. Don't like him because he's bossy. <laughs> Zachariah? Yeah, mm -hmm. bossy. Says, you are to come quickly. And I am to come with you. And he's angry. And I run. And I kneel down. And he looks at me and says, what have you brought today? And I look up at him. And he says, the night you will leave, you will go as Zachariah. Your heart will break if you stay here. And my heart is breaking. And he puts his hand on my head. I will always be in your breath. Remember what I have taught you about your breath, about the light, about the God between the breath. God dwells within the breath. Your breath is your connection. I will never leave you 
within breath always. Each breath a renewal of light. Remember, you are not alone. And Zechariah pulls at me, and we leave. And his uncle has a ship where to go on. And I cry all the time, every day. And Zechariah is so short with me, because I cry. And he has been sent away because of me. And I cry through the oceans. Where do you go? France. <coughs> to a little village mm -hmm. that needs a healer. <laughs> and we stay. And Zechariah takes care of me. And I heal. And he has never forgiven me for being sent away. And he has short temper with me. But I spend my days away healing at farmers and villages, gathering, planting. Do you ever hear any news of your teacher? I hear Zachariah says, I must go. We must go to a teacher, someone in the village, other side of the village. So I gather up my herbs, and he walks ahead of me. Still how can he be angry for so many years? How old are you now? 35. Mm -hmm. Turning 36. I will spend my birthday in a tree where I am loved. Mm -hmm. So we walk. And he stops. At the edge. Of land. That has gardens and women walking around quietly. It feels like an orphanage, but I'm not aware of an orphanage, but mm -hmm. there are children there. And the women look at me and nod. And under a tree is a older man, tired. He has worn feet. What does he have? His feet are worn and they are damaged. Mm -hmm. Who is this man? He looks up at this. He has holes in his feet. And I run and I put my head against his feet and I said, I'm so sorry. And he puts his head on my hand and he says, what have you brought me today? <laughs> and he smiles and he's worn and tired, but there is still peace. And his feet, I touch his feet, I cut what have they done to him? What have they done to him? Fall on his feet, 
as I breathe. Oh my God. My God. I cannot heal his feet. I place my hand on his feet. I just breathe. Put my head on his feet. I feel a hand on my back. And I look up in his neck. He said, and he says, I should have been your companion. I should have been your friend. We have wasted many years. And I look at his feet. And I look at what I have. I cannot heal. Cannot heal. Cannot heal them. But I am a healer and I will do what I can to bring it comfort. So I wrap up his feet in herbs and put herbs in water and pour the herbs and water over his feet. He places his hand on my head and he says, breath, breath, breath is a source of light. I may not be with you. But my vibration is within your breath, the light of the source of God, our Father, of all of us, is within your breath. And he puts his hand on my face. It's wet. My hand is wet. I promise I remember my breath. My heart is hurting and my stomach is hurting. And I said, leave this on. And he nods and he smiles. And I get up and I walk away with Zachary and he looks at me and puts his hand out and I hold his hand and he says we should have been friends and supported each other and I nod but my stomach hurts and my heart hurts and I feel hurt and numb all over he was right to send me away. It breaks my heart. I'm numb. And I fall. And I hold my heart. I am numb. He holds me. I am numb. My heart is broken. I look and say, I'm sorry. My heart hurts. It is broken. It is time for me to go. What happens now? I become numb. All over. And I just go above and see him holding me in the dirt. And I say, it's okay. It's all right. And I go back up to the table. 
really a purple. And I put my head down and look at my hands. And look at my feet. And say, what do we do to each other? I don't understand. understand. We are given gifts every day. I don't understand. What do your guides say? <clears throat> that is the human experience. There will always be bad. There will always be ugly. There will always be drama. But you will always have your breath. Why were you chosen to be such an important part of that teacher's life? I wasn't important. I was just a foot washer. Mm -hmm. I wasn't important. I didn't get to stay with him. I wasn't important. I was just there. I was just on the outskirts. But I was there. What did you learn from that experience? Oh, so much pain and suffering and still love. So much negativity and still love. So much everything and still love. And the breath contains the light. That is essential. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to now meet with your counsel. There, there. And let's talk about the life of Carol. <laughs> They're laughing. Mm -hmm. One of them slapped the table. Let's have a little discussion about the mission and the lesson and the purpose of Carol's life. One on the corner circle says it was supposed to be an adventure. Mm -hmm. She has gone through enough lives to have an adventure of learning, of being a human, being a ordinary human without temples or riches or power, just a human chance to remember to go beyond the pain, the drama, the negativity, a chance to remember. She has not adventured into the ordinary. She, she is strong, but it is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. So what is she, what what lesson does she want to learn from this lifetime? Breath. The breath. Is she doing that now? She is breathing, but not always remembering. Mm -hmm. What is she supposed to be remembering? That each breath is light. Each breath balances. Each breath centers. Each breath expands, brings comfort. It is something to go into this life with a easy life and no breathing. It is quite another thing to go into a life of hardship, 
mm-hmm. and breathe. That is the lesson. Mm-hmm. Why did she choose what she has now? All of the pain in her body and her stomach and everything like that? Remnants oh, these of are remnants. past mm-hmm. damage. Remembering past pain Mm -hmm. coming in weak forced to find a way to quickly deal with pain Mm -hmm. she was forced to breathe and find healing in a painful world okay necessary good are you her higher self i am one of the guides Mm. she wanted to connect with her higher self today and she says she's never been able to why is that somewhere on other dimension not easily accessible Hmm. why she is given a guide because sorry Mm -hmm. her higher self is several dimensions away in these higher dimensions yes Mm -hmm. not easily shifted into guides are more accessible okay who would be the best guide to answer the questions she brought today we all are good we are the council thank you would you allow me to ask these questions today then yes thank you she asks about the three visions that she had with jesus why does she have these visions because they are a honored part of who she is Mm -hmm. she learned the essence of breathing through Jesus and he reminds her it is just a connection a gift Mm -hmm. a remembrance does Jesus have any message for her today Why is he doing a yo-yo? <laughs> he has a yo-yo? Yeah. He's got a yo-yo. You said he was funny. He is. He's got a great sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Come closer. Okay, I understand. He says coming closer increases vibration, but I accept. Okay, good. So what would Jesus like to tell Carol today or anybody else who would be listening? We all have light, which is why people are drawn to you to hear. To remember the negativity that is surrounding is part of the drama, the earth existence at this time. Remember to stay in the light, watching, speaking, our actions of negativity will change your vibration. Stay an observer and ground your light 
within your breath, the negativity will increase as the vibration swings from one end to another before it balances. Is that why some people's lives get worse yes. before they get better? Yes. Everything falls apart? It swings. Mm -hmm. It is a life energy vibration is a motion. As we go through each life cycle, we swing from one end to another, finding each vibration, each life, swinging from one vibration all the way to the other before we learn what you would call enlightenment, mm -hmm. which is the cessation of the swing of the pendulum, which is a centering, which is no longer needing to go from one end to another. There are many that are swinging still from one wide arc to another. Mm -hmm. There are others that have learned to slow down and are reducing the swing. How is Carol doing? She is trying to still, but extreme negativity literally rings, throws her off. Mm -hmm. Yes, violence. Violence, mm -hmm. negative words, negative vibrations. Mm -hmm. It does not have to be actually seen. <coughs> If you watch the TV and see angry people burning, looting, saying negativity, it does not have to be violence. It can be negativity rolling out of mouth. Mm -hmm. It is the swinging of the pendulum for many beings. It does not mean you have to join in this pendulum swing. We all look for a balanced, still life of breath. How can one focus more on the breath in order to still this pendulum swing? If you want me to speak, it is a matter of every day. I know this is not what to be heard, but every day, every day, you must meditate, whether it's grounding yourself, planting, whether it's listening to the breath, preferably so. Find your meditation, your breath, every day. And if you are in a negative vibration, every morning, every night not wanting to be heard, but it is essential to bring back the vibration every morning, every night. Stay away from the negativity that does surround you. This is also not easy, but cultivate observation status. Be an observer. Do not throw your energy in or bring their energy to you. Be aware of it. Do not engage in it. When it is spoken to you, it is best to deflect your place of peace. Do not engage in the negativity that is prevalent. It is like a smog that is everywhere. Your only gas mask or mask that you have is your vibration, your breath, your meditation. The more you go out into the negativity and engage it, the more you breathe in the dark smoke. Mm -hmm. You can release it every night, but as I said, this is not wanting to be heard to meditate every morning and every night. I would, if I could, say meditate with every breath. Mm -hmm. Every breath acknowledge that light comes in holding that light, finding the God space, and releasing with each outbreath any negativity that does lay within you. 
ideally as a monk or a person of meditative spirituality, you would strive to have each breath be a remembrance of the light. Mm -hmm. However, you can only do what you can do. A lot of people say they can't meditate because they're distracted. So, when you breathe in, listen to the sound of your breath. Listen. Hold. Feel the silence. Breathe out. Listen to the sound. Do this at least three times, mm -hmm. listening to the breath. God's face. Breathe the sound. Last time, breathing in. Each breath space has the vibration of the source. You can do this at any time. You do not have to meditate. You just have to breathe. Just breathe. Listen to your God source in every breath. And you can hear it. It's there. Trust me. <laughs> is this what the, you used to teach? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the basis of all spirituality that deals with breath. Mm -hmm. Is that each breath does contain the sound of source, the sound of God. The sound of breath is sacred. It is also joyful. Mm -hmm. It is also pleasant. It alters your vibration just by doing three. Just do three. Just listen to three breaths. Trust me, I got you. <laughs> so I think that uh, with your teaching, a lot of people are going to be able to meditate now that you've breathe. given us a, such just a breathe. simple solution. Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe, you know what? And if you hold your breath and you take a deep breath, then it's a really strong breath. <laughs> it's all good. Trust me, guys. Breathing, you're in line somewhere, breathe. You're waiting, breathe. You're listening to somebody else, breathe. Breathe, <laughs> breathe, breathe. It's all good, baby. So Jesus, why'd you show up with a yo-yo? You know what? Because that's what life is about. <laughs> it is, it's a yo-yo. You know what? And the most important part of the yo-yo is when you hold it in your hand as a base. Mm. It's when you let it go that it releases. Mm -hmm. Just know that it's a yo-yo. It's like a breath. Yeah. Let it go. Let it come back. Wonderful. This has been delightful speaking with you. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> Would we be able to connect with you in some later time again through Carol? Sure. She's cool. <laughs> Excellent. She Do is a healer, though. She asks why she brings up the feet. Yes. Why is that? She actually is good with the feet. Mm -hmm. She... Which is, I know she doesn't want to hear this. That's why her feet are in problems now. Mm -hmm. Because she actually gathers negative energy in her feet. And when you heal, part of healing, like the breath, is bringing in and the other part is releasing. Mm -hmm. So in all things, breathing in is good, but releasing is even better. Mm -hmm. You must release every day. Drink your water, folks. Mm -hmm. Good. Could you do some healing on her today? She has to let go. She holds on so tight to everything. Bless her little heart. That's why she dies. Mm -hmm. You hold on so tight to all your pain. 
that it ages you. And eventually, it just ends you. You have to release what this world is about. You know, we all get damaged. It's releasing it. It's drinking the water. It's releasing the water. It's putting your feet in the dirt. It's feeling the wind. Allowing yourself to let go. You just let go. You know, I hate to say it, but y'all folks are constipated. <laughs> Seriously. Let it go. Drink more water. Put your feet in the dirt. Wonderful. So my question is, can you do some healing on her today? I will start. Thank she you. has to let go. She's got to do her part of the bargain. Mm -hmm. I've talked to her about this before. It's a lot of uh, dirt on her. Mm. The stomach especially. What's going on with the stomach? It's like dirt. Hmm. It's like a whirlwind of dirt. What's causing that? I don't know. It's been there quite a while. Mm -hmm. Is this any other any type of energy that's in there? Something. Mm -hmm. It's like moving around. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's its own being. I can feel it moving. Can we have a conversation with that? Maybe you can assist me? Yeah. All right. I'll bring my brother and Mark Angel. All right. So let's bring in Archangel Michael. Who else? Uh, let's bring the whole gang in. They don't do anything right now, anyway. <laughs> let's bring them all in. My Archangel team, we know what we need to do. Let's bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. up. Oh, yeah. Good morning. How long have you been there with her? Long time. Long time. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What's, what's your story? Why are you there? You don't like her. Did you know her from another life? Yeah. What, who was she to you? She was a monk. She Doesn't was a like monk. Her. Ah, are you the? Uh, are you anything to do with any of the soldiers or the emperor? Who were you? Uh, nobody. I just didn't like her. You just it's didn't like her. All that special treatment, stupid mm. monk. Mm-hmm. And what, what were you? Just a bum. Just a bum. You didn't like no. seeing this monk. Do no, she deserved to be in the dungeon. Mm. Did you have any part of it? No, I just spat on the door every time I went by. Ah, uh, did you work there? I carried water. You did, and you didn't give her any water, did you? No. Nope. Mm-hmm. You feel proud of yourself for that? Didn't like a monk in a dungeon. Mm-hmm. Why is that? It doesn't deserve to have water. Mm-hmm. You seem pretty angry about your yourself. How would you like to walk around a dungeon carrying water to stinky mm -hmm. people? Yeah, it's not very good life, is it? It seems to me that you're more bitter about your own life. That you were hurting. And the only way to help your hurt is to hurt other people. Why were you hurting so much? Because my stomach hurts too. Mm. What was wrong with it? They never fed me. So you were hungry? All the time. Mm-hmm. And that's why you're in her stomach now? She doesn't eat anything that I don't make sick. Mm, I see. Would you like to feel better? Mm -mm. Finally getting that stomach to feel good? What is your name? Err. They never gave me a full name, it's just Err. Err. Okay, Err. I want you to look inside of you. And there's a light there. Find that light. This is the light that created you. Oh, I feel nauseous. Bring that light. Bring that light up. Make it brighter and brighter. -er. I feel nauseous. Bring that light. Lighter and lighter. Bring that light up. Feel yourself filling up with that light. <sighs> I could do this. Mm -hmm. 
Bring that light, make it brighter, your entire essence. Make it white. Tell me how you feel. Well, butter was still nauseous. Mm -hmm. Would you like to get some of that out? Yeah. All right. Allow me to help you with that. Let's get some of that out. Get it all. Get it all. It's like a sludge. Mm -hmm. Get it all out of there. I'm going to have the angels help you. Please. They're going to come in and remove all of that sludge from your stomach. I'm going to ask all the Archangels, Archangel Raphael, please clean out the stomach. Smell something. Mm -hmm. What does it smell like? I don't know. Like a dungeon. Mm -hmm. Bring it all up. You don't need that anymore. Breathe it out. You heard what Jesus was saying. Breathe it out. As you breathe in, bring in all that light inside of you. And as you breathe out, bring out all of that negativity that you have. That worm. Mm hmm There's a worm in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Warm. A warm. Very good. Keep filling yourself with that light. And as you breathe out, breathe out all of that negativity. <sighs> Tell me how you feel, Earl. Okay. You feeling relief? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else have you done to this woman besides her stomach? It's just like a spider web down there. Okay. Are you ready to release yourself and go to the lighter? Yeah. All right. Release all of that influence that you have on her. Pull it all out. And Carol, I want you to go inside and start cutting away, pulling it out by the roots, all of the influence that her has. And as you do, I want the Archangels to reel in all of that influence. We don't need anything in your body left. Pull it all out. Or how are you feeling as the Archangels are helping you? Better. Warm. Mm -hmm. Turning to hot. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Make yourself even brighter. -er. We need to travel light. What would you like to tell this woman about all of your actions throughout this lifetime and the other? I didn't know. I just didn't know. You didn't know who you were. I just knew darkness and dirt. Mm-hmm. And what do you look like now? I'm trying to shed my body, but it's just so misshapen. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and change it. You can use it with do it with your visualization. Just mold it back into a very vibrant body, a light body. Okay. Can you forgive yourself, Er, for being so miserable all this time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to release and let go? Yeah. Thank you. I'd like to ask all of the angels right now to gather all of the energy of Er. And Er, what name would you like to give yourself now? A proper name? Solemn. Solemn. Very good. Does that sound good to you? Thank you very much. I'd like to ask Archangel Michael to go ahead and lead Solemn to the light, accompanied by all the angels. And tell me, Solemn, when you get there. Yeah. Is there anybody to greet you there? My mom. Thank you. Very good. Solemn, may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much. And I'd like Jesus and the Archangels to flood her with light, seal her from all of the influence she had from Solemn, fill her from her head to the toes. Thank you very much. Jesus, is there anything else that you would like to tell us today? There's black tar at the bottom of her feet. What's creating that? Don't know. Shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Should be like things to be released, but not tar. Mm -hmm. Can we bring that that energy up and see what's down there? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to use my hand to bring it up. Bring that energy up. 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 
up, 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 up. Good afternoon. How long have you been there with her? Just leave me alone. Mm. What's wrong with you? I hurt. You hurt. What hurts? Everything. My hands, my feet, everything. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I want you to think back. When was the last time you had a body? Uh, cobblestones. Cobblestones. Did you walk on cobblestones? Yes. Mm -hmm. Were you male or female? Male. Male. How old were you? 30. Mm -hmm. My hands hurt because I carried flak tools for the smithy. It's always in pain. What did you? I carried tools for, what? for the smithy. For the smitty. What is a smitty? A smitty made horseshoes and ah, tools. I see. So it was very heavy. It hurts. Yes. What's your name? John. John. John, what year is it for you? I'm in England, 1300. 1300, I see. And John, how did you lose your body there? Well, I could only help you if you tell me about it. I was late. Mm -hmm. I was tired. And I was hurting. And I was there late. And I kept dropping the tools. I was so late by the time I got there, he just started beating me. And I just... I just, just, just couldn't do it anymore. So I left. Mm -hmm. Was there any part of your body that was damaged during this beating? My hands. What happened to your hands? No, I held them up to stop the beating. Mm -hmm. What do your hands look like? They're all gnarled from trying to carry stuff that was too heavy and they're black, and blackened, and I'm all tan from being out in the sun because that's all I did is carry stuff mm -hmm. covered with dirt. But it was black from the sun of the tools. Are you ready to let go and go back to the light now? Does it want me? Well, but we can't let you go yet because you're still feeling much pain, aren't you? All over. Mm -hmm. John, I want you to go ahead and focus on that body that hurts so much. And I want you to look within and there's a light there. And that light is the light from the Creator. That's the light that gives you all of your power. I want you to expand that light out and as it does, you'll feel your entire body healing. Going back exactly as it should. Your fingers will become whole again. Your injuries will heal. Use that light to heal yourself. Breathe in that light and breathe out the pain. <sighs> How do you feel, John? Okay, my hands still twisted. Them. And keep, keep focusing on, on it. You have a light body. The more light you put in, the better it is. Tell me when you're completely whole. Okay. Very good. How do you feel now, John? Like, I'm not just a piece of dirt. Mm, feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. What would you like to tell Carol about everything that you've caused her? I'm sorry. I just wanted someone that was nice to Mm -hmm. But what did you cause her instead? Pain. Pain. Where was this pain? The hands and the feet. Mm -hmm. Wherever I felt pain. Yes. Are you ready to let go now? Yeah. Pull out all of the influence from her body, please. It's Pull a lot. It. There's a lot. Pull it all out. There's a lot. And I'd like the archangels to help with that. Carol, go ahead and cut all that from inside. They don't want anything left. 
Jesus, can you help with this too, please? Of course. Mm -hmm. Pull all of that out. We don't want anything left. Give it all to the archangels who are here. Happy to help. How does it feel, John? Better. Mm hmm. You like to feel even better? Yeah. Gather all of that influence, give it to the angels, and go up through the crown of her head, and Archangel Michael is waiting for you. And all of the angels of the light are going to surround you now, feel their love, and they're going to take you right to the light and tell me who you see there. My little brother. Mm hmm. What's he say to you? Mr. Mm hmm. John, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Jesus, what else do you see in her body? It's kind of just worn on the inside. Mm -hmm. It's causing that. Just pain. Mm hmm. This is not an easy place to be in. Mm -hmm. This uh, third dimensional life, you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we transform these cells today? Can always do that. Thank you. So let's transform these cells and let's start working from her head to the toes or wherever you choose to get her back into this wonderful vibration. We can throw some colored bubbles in here. <laughs> what do these bubbles do? Um, it's like when you blow bubbles and you're a little child and all yeah. those little beautiful bubbles came out of the wand. Mm -hmm. Well, you could think of your cells in the body as little bubbles. They can either be dark and covered with mark and pollution mm -hmm. and smog, or you can gradually transform them to beautiful light bubbles that shine. Wonderful. It is all part of the change. What a change is this? Oh, we're all changing. You have to. It's the call. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about this change? I know that in many sessions they've talked about the new earth. <sighs> well, we are trying to reach as much as we can. Mm -hmm. There are people that are listening. There are people that are not listening. There are people that are so immersed in the other swing of the pendulum. Mm -hmm. They don't hear. <sighs> we would wish light and peace upon everyone but this is a planet of free will and free choice part of the choice is choosing negativity mm. part of the choice is choosing to raise your vibration to change your body and there are, that's a good way. Um, say that there is um, a multi dimensional swimming pool, <laughs> and uh, there's some stairs, and uh, there's waterfalls running down the stairs, and uh, there's beautiful rainbow bubbles at the far end of this but you have to have the will and the courage and the intention to walk through the stairs through the bubbles to the light that is changing the waters the vibrational changing you have to be willing and choose the change no one's going to make you walk down the stairs. No one's going to make you go through the 
the cleaning vibrations, the vibrational cleansing, the lifting of the frequency. No one's going to force that on you. It is always your own choice to change. Every step you take into the light, into the water, into the vibrational raising is a little bit easier, but it is always your choice, your breath, your life. Mm -hmm. We're all around you. We talk to you all the time. We give you love. We give you support. But it's like watching a football game when your wife wants you to do the dishes. <laughs> Don't hear it. Gotta love you. You know, and sometimes the wife goes and turns off the TV right in the middle of the game because there's other things for you to do. We understand y'all want to watch a football game. Don't like, we don't get it. We get it. <sighs> but, you know, it's all choice. We're here for you. Sometimes we're like the wife yelling at you to turn off the TV. You don't listen to us. Sometimes you really choose not to hear us. Mm -hmm. Some people, we actually do go and turn the TV set off. So if you wonder why electrical stuff stops working, there you go. <laughs> you know, we try and make stuff happen. We try the little pebbles and rocks, and some people actually have a house fall on them. But, you know. Are you the ones who, who lost her keys? Uh, yeah, they're not where she's looking. <laughs> Would you tell her where her keys are? Let's just say she needs to change her vibration. And when her vibration changes, she'll find them. Oh, that's not fair. No, but <laughs> you know what? It's just sometimes you have to turn off the TV. Mm. All right. So and that is, to be honest, a problems with many people. Yeah. Uh, issues and negativity and drama comes in their life. Listen, sometimes negativity comes in your life and drama. It doesn't belong to you. Can you all hear that? You get stuff happening that doesn't belong to you. Just because it's happening around you, say you have a good friend and has a bad relationship, you know, and she actually goes through some really bad stuff and you actually become involved with her because you want to help her and you actually become involved in the negativity or someone in your family has a negative path that they are walking on. We all have seen it. Mm -hmm. And because you are in that vibrational effective field, you also become affected by it. Um, it does not mean it belongs to you. Negative things happen that don't belong to you. That's, that's a real big thing. Just because things are happening that are bad or happening bad around you doesn't mean you're bad, doesn't mean you bad things, doesn't mean you've got bad karma. Sometimes it's just somebody else's dirt, somebody else's path, somebody else's <sighs> lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, everything isn't all about you. Would you explain why she has this ear toning? I always told her she's never alone. Mm -hmm. Some, now there are vibrational frequencies that some people accurately do get downloaded information from. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is accurate that they are getting downloaded. Mm -hmm. um, however, since she reluctantly chose this life of adventure, she literally wanted a lifeline. Mm, okay. Um, the toning is literally a cord, a vibration, a lifeline connecting her. Just to remind her that she's not alone? Yes. Okay. And that there, and, and everyone has their breath to remind of that, but it's easy to not feel it. Yes. Um, so since she's chosen exceptionally hard self for herself where she doesn't have the uh, temple or the ashram or the uh, meditative life that she has always chose. Mm. Um, she, we gave her a, a extra um, connection. Okay. 
uh, because uh, she knew it would be hard, but she didn't know it was going to be like this. <laughs> you don't. If you really knew, you'd say, no, I'm not going. Okay, good. What about the high vibrations that other people are always listening to? They all, everybody comes to me telling me that they have tendonitis. It's not tendonitis. What is that? Um, it's, you get remember, everybody has different uh, vibrational reasons why things are happening. Yes. Some are downloads. Some are, this one has a cord. Some actually, it's a very easy way to alter your cells, your vibration. Because it is a pure vibration, it is just pure coming in. Mm -hmm. It helps to change in a non-intrusive way. Okay. So it's like, um, say you're upset and you listen to some music that relaxes you, you do become relaxed. And that's why some people listen to music to relax them. This is the core, it's the essence of music. So we are basically helping you in a non-invasive, pleasant way to change. Mm. You know, it's like going out to the sunshine and feeling the wind. You know, it changes you. It, it brightens you. It lightens you. Um, but most people say it annoys them. That's where they are. you mm -hmm. got to remember, if you're in a low place and you have angels singing in your ear, it's not going to feel good. <laughs> okay. All right. So get it, over it and just get used to it um, and, and find the, the pleasure. Meditate. Mm -hmm. If they would meditate... Um, this is actually a tool. Mm. I know they're not going to hear it because you got to pay attention to it. So let's just go over the basics. If you meditate and you quiet yourself and you hear the toning, quiet your breath, listen to the toning, focus to the toning. The toning is actually there to stable, to change to integrate a higher vibration. And if you're becoming annoyed, it's because your mind is chattering at you. This is a golden opportunity, remember, to change your vibration. Use this time of meditation and the toning to actually use your intention and focus and will to change. If you're not liking it, it means your brain's fighting it. Okay. All right. So, so use it. It's a tool. It's a tool. Just like the breath is a tool. Mm -hmm. Just like seeing orbs are a tool. Mm -hmm. Just like looking up and seeing the scar stars and feel a connection. You know, we send you signs and signals all the time. All the time. All the time. We try and be as kind as we can. But if it irritates you, it means you're in a place where you're just not ready to meditate or, or deal with it. Not good is not bad. There's no judgment with it. You know? Mm -hmm. You know, we're just here to we're just here to help you all. Really? Just here to help you. You don't have to take the help. You don't have to listen to the ears. You can go play some jamming music and tone it out. Doesn't matter. We're just here to help. Thank you. Uh why is she so tired all the time? She says she's never had enough energy she just falls asleep she was um born with a very weak frail body mm -hmm. on purpose to foster leaving the body to foster choosing a different vibration mm. um we were hoping she would start to slow down by this time um a lot of times as you age it is a time to slow down and start reflecting and enjoying and becoming a non as much working person. And if you're tired all the time and you're really working all the time, it's just kind of a signal. Let's balance us out. Mm -hmm. Let's put more joy. Let's put more relaxation. Let's put more meditation. You know, I'm a commercial for meditation right here. Got a breathing commercial. Jesus, you're telling me to you tell people to slow down, and I'm I'm you too. speeding up. <laughs> yep. yep. Now you can speed up and maintain your balance at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what? If you got to breathe when you're in the car or traveling, mm -hmm. that's what you got to do. You can increase your vibration, increase your speed, as long as you take your breath with you. Okay. Because I seem to be uh, like one of the Blues Brothers. I'm on a mission from God right now. Yep. 
but that's you know that's okay that's that's what you came in to do mm -hmm. um you are your your vibration is changing like everyone else's um it's even more vital for you to um breathe mm -hmm. Um, you will have to choose your breathing spaces differently than other people because of what you're doing. But your breath is pretty much accessible to you for 24-7. So, you know. Thank you. This is sponsored by The Light. <laughs> now I can see why so many listen, so many people listen to you on those mountains. Well, I tried coming down to the city and they just thought I was a hobo. <laughs> People sure have thought differently about you. Well, you know, it's just a body form. Mm -hmm. um, all of the high masters mm -hmm. came down in body form. And, uh, you know, if you're going to listen, you'll listen. And if you don't, you won't. Okay. Where, where is uh, Carol actually from? Is she from another planet? Oh, yeah. Can you give her a hint? Pleiades. The Pleiades, okay. Is that life in the Pleiades affecting her now? Yeah, it's pulling on her. It's pulling on her. Is that why she wants to go home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? You signed up for this reluctantly, but you signed up for this. It's going to be okay. Life is just literally one breath in and one breath out. And it's over. Mm. You know, it's it's all good. You are loved. You are protected. And all is well. Wonderful. Do you see any male companionship in her life? No. No? No. She came here really to work. Mm -hmm. um, and as a part of her agreement with the council, Mm -hmm. um, she came here to work and came here to serve and came here to um, be the light and sometimes being the light means that's just what you are mm -hmm. um, some people a lot of saints don't have companionships a lot of good people don't have companions mm -hmm. it just is what it is you know, she won't be alone, mm -hmm. but there's just too much that she needs to do. And I know she would like to have a companion, but mm -hmm. it's not the first time we've said time to walk the path. Good. She's loved though. It's okay. We'll be around her. Good. Uh, this lion guide that she has, is it always with her? Oh, it's been around for lifetimes. So it mm -hmm. changes forms from panthers to lions. Ah, okay. It's a guardian. It's a guardian. Is the lion here today? Yeah, he's chilling. <laughs> what about the sign that she saw today? She said she saw something that said good vibes ahead. Well, it's like sometimes we actually have to give you a sign. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was quite funny to actually put good vibes ahead on a sign. <laughs> just because I enjoy a good joke like anybody else. So... You know, it's, this whole thing isn't serious. It doesn't have to be serious. It doesn't have to be dramatic. You know, as light beings, we are light. And, you know, we like to have joy. So yes. sometimes your signs are going to be pleasant. And uh, it was a sign. Good. Actually. I know that we have gone through a lot of her questions, and you've answered some of them without me even asking. Do you have a, a message for her or for anybody else that would be listening today? Well, my basic message has always been love yourself, take care of yourself, allow the love that's within yourself to spread out and encompass. You are the light, you are the love, and you're not alone, guys. We're here. We got you. And it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Thank you very much. Would you complete doing a scan on her body and please 
go through it and heal any of the things that she came here for today? Yeah. That'll take a while, but we can work on it. Thank you. Work on her while she sleeps. And if you would, align her chakras and seal her aura. And if there are any others in this room that are ready to take the place of any of these others. That's shadows. why the lion's here. Okay. He's been chasing them away? Oh, they won't come in the room where he is. Okay, good. Good. So the room is clear, no energies? Yep. Wonderful. Wonderful. And are there any other beings here that would like to say anything also? Perhaps Michael. He's just in the background smiling. <laughs> he doesn't want to take the mic? <laughs> no, he's, he actually speaks a lot with her. Yes. Um, because she's had a lot of dark times. Yes. And uh, he is the wings and the protection mm -hmm. of the light. Yeah. And uh, he said it before. Just call me. We can't come without you calling. Right. Please call. Please ask. And we're there within your breath. We're there. Good. We're there. I do have one more question. Mm. There's some people who um, comment on these videos saying that, uh, why do I use these religious beings? That this is something that's, they don't believe in angels. That this is kind of hogwash. Uh, why do I believe in this nonsense? What would you like to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't quite have the words to answer um, the, the, the comments. Well, you know, uh, since the beginning of time, people have looked for more than what is. Whether it's goddesses or gods or uh, the universal force, but man has always searched for more than what is. And there are those who choose to live within the four corners of the box. And there are those who like, yes, this is a box, there are four corners, but it is not enough to hold my light. And so some people put windows and doors in and some people open up the roof and some mm -hmm. people literally walk outside. It is a eternal search for more than what is. Some people want to stay in their box. It's all good. Okay. Some people just want to put some windows in. That's good. Some people literally need to go outside into a different dimension, if you will, mm -hmm. um, into alternative. Um, the more you expand yourself, let's put it that way, mm -hmm. the more you expand yourself, the more you are open to angels and guides and teachers and um, protectors and guardians and more of who you are because you got to remember you're not just a box you're more than a box mm -hmm. so in a search to find out more of who you are more of expansion of who you are you choose to expand the box good you know so it's expansion as mm -hmm. you expand you find more and more whether it's guides teachers angels mother teresa you know some people just like fairies, and that's fine. It's an expansion of consciousness. Mm -hmm. When you expand your consciousness, you run into other beings. Some people like aliens. That's all good. <laughs> you know, it's just you choose to expand. You choose not to expand. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. You're not asking for angels. You're, I mean, you're not asking for... <sighs> imaginary beings that haven't been around since you existed. Mm -hmm. You're just Ah, oh, what's a good word? You're just opening up the doors and windows. Okay. Good.
And what do you tell people when they look at Carol in this trance and they'll say, oh, that's just her talking? You know what? Everyone has a right to think what they want to think. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a right to stay in their box. Everyone has a right to to limit themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it will always be your choice to see black and white, or it will be your choice to see all the colors and the hues of the rainbow. Beautiful. So you can see gray, black and white, or just... And there's a lot of colors and hues out there. A lot of beautiful colors. You know, just... It's not bad or good. It's just an expansion. Good. Thank you so much for stepping in for her higher self. I think she's going to appreciate this. Yeah, her higher self's way off somewhere. <laughs> How can she connect with you? Well, the same goes for her as everybody else. Meditation in the morning to begin the day with a protection of light. Mm -hmm. um, starting on good vibration, good energy frequency, remembering breath through the day. And then at night, cleansing and stepping into a good place to dream and sleep when with meditation. Goes for her too. Meditation all the time, every day, preferably in the morning and at night. And if not, you just really need to do it every day. It's got to be part of who you are. It has to be. If you want to connect, if you want to get higher, if you want to expand yourself, meditation, breath work. Use your tools that we gave you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. I'd like to also thank all of the others who have been participating here. Are we complete? Yep. Don't forget to use your toolbox. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. All's good. Love y'all. Bye. Thank you very much. Peace out. Wide awake now. Wide awake. Boy, I got some funny people around me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what a sense of humor. Unbelievable. Funny. Yes. Funny. Hilarious. How did it feel? It felt like he was like a really good friend. Yeah. It was like he was very not, all I could feel is love, light, quiet, quiet joy, acceptance. Mm -hmm. And it was almost like a teacher I had in grade school that was like your favorite teacher. Yeah. And they came back and it's like, are you breathing? <laughs> Do you remember what I told you? Unbelievable. You know, and it's it. like, and he was like so joyful mm -hmm. you know he was just like he was like it was like an elementary school teacher that you always loved yeah. how long do you feel you're on this journey oh god it doesn't feel like long at all oh give me give me half a... hour 40 minutes two hours and no, 40 way. Minutes. no way no way no way way oh my god it felt like i was literally there and back yeah. really Two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, my God. I didn't have to do a battery change did, in the middle did, of it. Did Jesus take all that time out? <laughs> <laughs> he well, can he, talk. Let me tell you, he can talk. Well, I guess that's why he talked for so many hours for his uh, for his little speeches. He tells he was, good stories. He just, he was like such a gentle soul. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, it's like, I understand why he sent me away. Yeah. And what about his feet? What do they look like when you saw them? What, the first time no, or the last time. time? That was, seemed like it was devastating. Horrific. What do it they look like? Devastating. It was devastating. How old was he? Oh, God, he looked like such an old man. I mean, there was quiet joy in him, but mm -hmm. his feet were just gnarled and broken and they had wounds on them. Mm -hmm. And. I just, I just, who could do that to him? Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew then why he sent me away. Because yeah. just looking at his feet, right. just. Did they have actual holes in them? Yeah. Well, they were, it was, it was like circles that were gnarly that had bad tissue on them. Like scar tissue? Yeah, but it was like... Where were, where were the holes? Um, it was... On the feet? Yeah, because I didn't see his hands. I just saw his feet. Mm -hmm. It was just focusing his feet, and they were just like horrible, raggedy, 
badly healed mm. holes with horrible tissue on them. I mean, on the top was, and the bottom. Well, on the top, you could see raggedy, jaggedy holes on it. Mm. But I don't know what they did to his feet besides that. But his feet were really messed up. Mm. It was. I mean, but who he was had not changed. Right. Who he was, and I just couldn't, I couldn't bear to breathe, live after that. Yeah. I just, it killed me. Yeah. And I knew that's why he sent me away. It would have killed me. Mm -hmm. It just would have killed me. So uh, we had talked about this beforehand. You think this is a good one to share? Yeah, you think anybody will get anything out of it? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get like a lecture of breathing. Of breathing. Expect everyone to breathe today. Yeah. Anyone that's watching this, you need to breathe. Yeah, I was I was sitting there going like, oh my God. Well, this is great because people always ask, how do I meditate? And this is really the And the br I was surprised about the breathing. It was perfect. He actually showed you. Yes, he did the This action. is how you breathe. It was amazing. That was kind of cool. It was like, lesson from Jesus. Yeah, it's like, this is breathing how you breathe. Breathing one. The, and you keep, well, it's like you can't meditate, then we breathe. You don't have to breathe. This is how you breathe. It was amazing. It was like, it was really just, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have tears roll down my face all the time either. Yeah. It was amazing. Amazing. You ready? Well, let's say goodbye. So we Bye. Breathe. <laughs> Mind blowing. I'm sorry. But it didn't feel that way. It was it great. It literally felt like I had a good friend, like I was saying, an elementary school teacher that you loved come back and just talk to you and say, are you doing what we talked about? <laughs> but the past lives were so good, too. I mean, you, you know, the monk and, and the healing and the herbs and to understand so much the herbs really ran herbs. through And do you everything. work with herbs? No. Really? That's However, I have people ask me to rub their feet all the time because it always feels better. I literally have people ask go. me to rub their feet. There you go. That's the connection. Well, you were sent here for adventure pretty much this life. Not as yeah. not as a healer. I and that came I felt that it was like I came through to be an average everyday person. And do you feel average Oh my god. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I'd rather be a monk or someone that lived in, in a monastery or a temple or any place but this everyday life. Now explain the toning because we had talked about the toning throughout. Um, you, you had said it, you know, throughout yeah. your past lives and then we talked yeah. to Jesus about it's, it. It's actually, um, I think when you, for me, whenever I get quiet, Whenever I still my breath or literally I'll be in a car and I'll be driving and I'm like, okay, relax, bad traffic. And I'll and see now I'm not twenty now because I haven't quieted myself because I'm hyper from the thing. But you get to a space and even when I get ready to go to sleep, just before I go to sleep when I'm quiet, it's like high it starts over here and it's like three very high tones. And uh, they don't come out all the time. They just come when I quieted myself or whatever it is. And then sometimes it joins over here. And then if I just literally listen to them, they get stronger. And sometimes when I used to dance, I would I would be in the middle of concentrating and watching the teacher. And I would have, it literally would just like come through like an ear on it would go. Wow. So this, um, is, this is like your connection. It literally feels like radar. It and but you know people are like it's ten on ice and I'm like no because it's not there all the time. Yeah. It literally waits, or I I have to get to a place where I can hear it. It's like meditation or breath work. You can breathe, but until you really pay attention to your breath and get to a quiet space, you're not going to get the benefit. So. You know, all those people that have toning or ringing, ringing yeah. and don't want to pay attention to it, um, it's a tool. Yeah. Um, I don't want to sound like a teacher, but it's a tool. <laughs> now, that a you, tool. now that you had Jesus telling it. Yeah, you have a tool. tool. You have a toolbox, use it. You have a tool. There's, and you know what? I realized through this that we have given a lot of tools yeah. all the time. All the time. You know, you're a tool. We come here and, and you help us focus and... 
find out the answers we need to and meditation's tool and breathing's a tool and there are so many valuable tools that we have out there yes. and we do use them and ironically one of my life I died using carrying tools yeah yeah well yeah. that wasn't your life oh that that's was right. the attachment oh my god that felt yes. like that was so much part of me yes because you had it for a long time it really felt like that was part of me yeah yeah and you may feel almost like a grief now as as these were taken from you you may feel like they were emptiness. like little gnarly yes they were both sad yes and you may feel an emptiness after this that you know you're missing part of of, of yourself and that you know sometimes you feel like you're grieving after this session because you feel something's missing so oh, that's, that's normal lot. that was a lot that's a lot of that was a lot of me yes yeah I mean it literally felt like it was all over permeated you. yeah all over you all over you so now that you've done this how do you feel how does your body feel well I'm still tingling <laughs> um when you put the stones in your hand you really start to feel a vibration these from are the, the stones. stones these, these are, are the stones that she holds this is selenite and they're actually hot yes they were cold when I put them in my hands but part of it is is breathing and relaxing and the energy of the stones literally they're still hot vibrates and uh you it's like toning you feel a vibration and you accept it and you use it so mm -hmm. crystals are a tool also yes yes and water is a tool drink your water yes yeah, so you drank a lot of water which meant you were really connected I modified my diet before I came in. Oh yeah, I tell, it, tell, them, tell them how yeah. you, you prepared for this. Yeah, I made sure I had three months ahead of time because I really, part of the journey is getting there and making sure that you benefit yourself as much mm -hmm. as you can. So I made it three months ahead of time so I could really pay more attention to my meditation, incorporate it more. Um, I found out also it's harder than I thought it would be. I dropped beef, then I dropped pork, then I dropped chicken. And uh, the I started just the last 10 days just having fish. And then the last two days, I just had fresh fruit and vegetables. And uh, it was really hard to sleep the night before because I, but um, I came here, made sure I got here early. And I literally sat and meditated and tried to still myself so that I was in a good space because if you're going to do this, do everything you can to make it good for you. You know, make your food choices good. Bring wholeness into your life. Bring calmness into your life as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And so that when you get here, you can take advantage of this as much as you can. And look at what you went through. That was amazing. You know, and well, I really wanted to get the most out of it. You know, I think you did. And if, if you want and you can change stuff, you do. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you will have to go to the bathroom with your water. You're gonna have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just was surprised when the monk had to go to the bathroom. I did. It's too. like I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. I, was like, I thought, oh my god, she has to go to the bathroom. Yeah, and, the like, monk. And, the, and the monk was like sitting there, and I could feel myself. And I'm like, oh, I feel really sick. No, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, and I could, I could still see the little dungeon I was in. You know, wow. with straw and gray walls and nasty. It yeah. was horrible smelling. You know, but. As a monk, I used to leave my body all the time, and you know, in fact, when I was a priestess, I left my body. Yeah, yeah. You know, and when I came into this world, I came in with sickness, so I left my body. Yeah, you've been in and out of trance all all along, and and that's one of the things that uh, Carol already does this all the time. She's been hypnotized many, many, yep. many, many, many times, yep. and each time you get hip, uh, hypnotized. You're able to go in much deeper and faster. She and you accept it. And you accept it. So this is why she had such an incredible session because she's always going in and out of trance. I know. It was odd. It was, it was odd. It was like you started, you know, and before I knew it, there were like angels and shadows there. And I'm like, this yeah. is really quick. <laughs> yeah. So this is why the session really went the way it did because she's she's she put herself into hypnosis very quickly. And, and we had a fabulous session. It was cool. Do so, it, do it, do it, do it, and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so if you would like a session with me, go to albawyman.com, and uh, we can have a session with you. Okay, until, the next, until the next time, breathe, breathe, and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>